LTC have just announced that they're going to acquire a lot more properties uh, within the first quarter of 2023. Really good news for LTC. Right, you can see they're definitely expanding their equity within the aged care sector. For those of you guys who don't know, LTC own a lot of properties within uh, the skilled nursing sector and aged care communities within the United States. And for a long time, they've been playing a very comfortable dividend yield of 6.82% of a amount of 19 cents per share and they pay that monthly. Now they did have a bit of a hiccup, you know, back in 2018, missing a couple of dividends there. Um, but from, from then on, it's been fairly consistent of 19 cents per share. All right, so stay tuned. All right, in this, we'll be giving you all the information that you need to know on all the different acquisitions within LTC. And uh, let's get into it. So this is how the first quarter of 2023 uh, was impacted. So they're getting higher rental income from four skilled nursing centers bought uh, in the second quarter of 2022. They're getting higher interest income from financial financing receivables due to acquisitions from 11 assisted living memory care communities in the first quarter of 2023. They're getting higher interest income from mortgage loans, higher interest income due to the payoff of two mezzanine loans related to uh, exits. And here we're gonna break this down further. Okay, so in 2022, these are the four properties um, that was totaled 339 beds in various cities of uh, Texas. So the main operator of those is Ignite Medical Resorts. Okay, so these are this is the Ignite Medical Resort there. So look, as you can see, these are very nice facilities that LTC are acquiring. So they're not just some you know rundown old shacks. These are actually very very nice. Okay, later on in 2022, uh, they acquired another three properties of a total of 299 beds in various cities of Florida. And the purchase price for that was just under $76 million. And then the most recent acquisition right, was a total of 11 properties, uh, which totaled 523 units in various cities of Northern Carolina. Uh, the operator was ALG Senior and a purchase price of $121.3 million. Right, so these are all the different states that they've, they've brought the properties in. So California, okay, a couple in Florida, Nebraska, North Carolina, Ohio, South Carolina, and Texas. Okay, and all that um, investment costed them $339 million, but the potential you know, annualized revenue is going to be just, uh, just under $25,000. Okay, so a great investment there from LTC. And here's a just quick, uh, quick overview, uh, LTC's portfolio. So they're working with uh, 30 operators in 29 states and a total of 212 properties. And then on the right hand side here, this is where you can see uh, the separation in 46% you know, of skilled nursing and 52.7% uh, in assisted living. So here you can see, taking into consideration all of their operators, uh, all of the, the properties totaling 212. And then on the right hand side, the gross investment, they've paid over you know, $2.1 billion and the annualized revenue uh, with all the properties is uh, $183 million per year. And here's a chart of the United States and where LTC hold all their properties. So they've got 135 in assisted living, 76 in senior nursing facilities, and then one in other. And then in North Carolina, they've got a total of 33 properties being, that takes into consideration the 11 that they've recently just acquired. So in 2022, they had a total revenue of 40.7 million. And then now in 2023, in the first quarter, they're just under $50 million, which is a massive increase just in the first quarter there. Looking down at the net income, it's gone from 14.2 million to a massive just under $33 million, which is huge. Okay, moving down onto the balance sheet, because this is probably the most um, impressive uh, from LTC. So in the first quarter of 2022, they had a total of $1.6 billion in assets. With now all the recent acquisitions from the last quarter of 2022 and the start of 2023, they're now up to $1.8 billion just in assets. So that's that's definitely a massive increase from last time. And with all these assets, you can just imagine, you know, all the, all the revenues and all the rents they're going to collect uh, from these. Yeah, their liabilities, you know, are slightly going up as well. But, but with that, the amount of investment they're going to get from these and the amount of rental income that's going to increase their balance sheet uh, and their earnings for the next quarter is just going to be absolutely huge. 
And now looking at the funds from operations, so going from 23.6 million to 27.2 million dollars, which is a massive increase. And when you're trying to uh, analyze a real estate investment trust, uh, the funds from operations is probably the most, uh, or the better indicator on how to um, analyze the company there. So as long as that's increasing, uh, we're looking good. So given all that news, um, this is the stock price lately with LTC properties. Um, it's now trading, you know, tremendously uh, low levels at the moment, right? This could be being affected by uh, high interest rates, um, etc. But they've just re recently released, you know, that report I've just showed you, and there's really not a lot of talk about it in the news. There's no major financial uh, news outlets such as, you know, CNBC, Yahoo Finance talking about, you know, the tremendous acquisitions done by LTC. And yet the stock price is still trading extremely low. So this is probably the biggest opportunity to buy LTC um, that I can that I can find. But within my portfolio, I've got 287 shares at an average price of $34. So current equity is $9,600. Um, currently in the red by 246, just due to the recent downturn. But the biggest question is now: is it is this an opportunity to buy LTC properties? Let me know in the comments below. Are you looking to buy? Are you looking to hold? And uh, we'll have a bit of a discussion down in the comments below. Uh, but that's the video, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And I'll catch you next time.